this offense has come together in the last several games? Yeah, I think we're we're continuing to grow. I think we still have a lot, you know, steps to take, no no question. But um, I do like kind of the progression we've been taking. I think the big thing is, um, you know, we can't beat ourselves. Penalties and um, different things like that. that that's kind of uh, what's what's been stopping us um, these last few weeks. So we've got to do a better job of focusing in on that and um, keeping drives alive. Do you feel like there's more of a feeling of certainty and confidence about what you guys can do on offense compared to obviously – in the season, Dax out and all that. Yeah, I think I, I think we have a, a you know a good identity on offense. Um, you know, we're we're running the football and sticking to the sticking to the run, and it's opening open up stuff on the perimeter. So, uh, ever since I've been here, that's that's kind of been a winning formula. Start start with the run game, and then everything kind of opens up off that. So, um, we'll have another big challenge this week. Um, Colts defense is, is tough, man, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to go out there and play play a fundamental game. Tell us about the course about because uh, we haven't really seen a lot of him there in Indianapolis. We kind of remember what he did in San Francisco. Yeah, both those inside guys, uh, Stewart and Buckner, have been playing at a really high level, and um, you know they're big guys with a lot of length, and they use their length really well. So, um, and they do a, a great job of getting off the ball. That's kind of like their calling card is um, their get off, and it kind of disrupts. Um, a lot of what offenses are trying to do. So it uh, puts a premium on us to take care of, of the, that front level and then get ahead on the, on, the, on the backers. Do you think as far as the, some of the pre-snap penalties, do you think uh, it could be a result of some of the younger guys trying to reacclimate to Dak Prescott's cadence versus Cooper Rush's cadence, being that Dak was out for five games at the beginning of like Tyler Smith's uh, 2022 season, for example? No, I just think we need to, we need to lock in and focus in on uh, – on that kind of stuff. I mean, Dak's been back six games now. That's not an excuse. So we've we've got to uh, just do a better job of, of focusing in, and, and uh, you know, everyone's job starts before the cadence. Um, so again, we got we got to do a better job focusing on that. Yeah, no, no question. I think uh, you know. Especially for young guys, you hit Thanksgiving and, and guys are thinking like, "Hey, we're getting close." Where, you know, we got we still have a ton of football left and a, and a ton of room to grow uh, heading into this home stretch. So, um, you know, December football is um, is for contenders. So it's time for us to step up and uh, you know start stringing these games these games together. What do you think when you see four teams in the division this late all in line to make the playoffs? Yeah, it's great. It, it's. Uh, you know, it's a very competitive division, and it's been uh, – we've had some battles out there inside our division. And, um, you know, we, we, these next few weeks along with this week, we're playing some teams that we normally don't play. So um, a little bit of an extra um, to, to get in the book and in the film, and we call it uncommon opponent. So Indy's an uncommon opponent for us. So we got to put that extra time in kind of getting to know these guys. Still a little bit irritated by the holding penalty? First one in a while. Not really, no. <laughs> No, I really have. I'm, I'm, I'm on the indie, baby. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.